I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. There was a dragon rot epidemic in Ashina once before. Back then, right. it is my hope. Goodbye. Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <gasps> This branch. It's from the Ever Blossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Yes. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes. That's right, Wolf. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the Divine Heir be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the Divine Heir is required to obtain the Dragon Tears from the Divine Realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the Divine Heir's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The Mortal Blade. Yes, here you are. <laughs> This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the Divine Heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. My lord, I've procured the flower for the Fountainhead Aroma. Was it truly blooming in the Sunken Valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. My lord, I have procured the ingredients for the- Oh, so that is the stone for the Fountainhead incense? What a peculiar shape it is. Yes. It had been made into some sort of shrine. So it was just as Lord Takeru wrote. Yes. There was also an inscription. A sweetly scented bridal offering, written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave, beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know, I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro, that place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm, I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the Fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. Wolf, that sword on your back, is it? It is the Mortal Blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters at Sempo Temple. The Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, divine children? 
Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man. The ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this... It's the Fountainhead Incense. It's so... extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. How can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering that was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. Wolf, I need you to bring dragon tears from the Divine Realm. Yes. You must you now carry the scent of the I believe the path- As you wish. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. It looks as if your brow is less furrowed than before. If only a little. Hmm. Please, see that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Goodbye.
Ah! 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 Ah!